Hey guys, Tyler here, your Puzzle Master Insider, and today I'll be giving you an inside look at a maze puzzle from Robrecht called Saunders. The Saunders puzzle is a maze design that was patented by the man whose name is on the front, Samuel L. Saunders, in 1904. It has been refashioned and produced here by Robrecht from Belgium. Robrecht is a puzzle designer. Many of his designs have been showcased at the exclusive international puzzle party that is hosted each year around the world. The Saunders puzzle feels like it's made out of some sort of plastic, but it's actually a pressed wood material called Trespa, and it's strong and durable, and the finish and quality on it are excellent. The Saunders puzzle features two discs joined together by a rivet here in the middle. The goal is to navigate the roving rivet through the maze by rotating the two discs until you reach a place where the rivet can be fully separated from the puzzle. It is a level 8 on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale, which runs from 5 to 10. One interesting thing about this puzzle is that we have a copy of the original United States patent that Samuel L. Saunders put on the puzzle in 1904. You'll find a link to a copy of this in the description below. Next, I will show you the solution. If you aren't interested in seeing this, then please stop the video here. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so before we start the solution to this, and, I, and I'll, I'll show you it in a little bit, I wanna pull the puzzle apart here. And it's actually pretty simple. You just unscrew the two uh, bolts here. And I just wanna show you a bit of how the puzzle is constructed. That'll really, really help show you what to do and make it that much easier to figure out and it, it is a level eight but I, I mean when you see some of this it'll give you an idea of what all uh, you need to do with the puzzle so you take it apart and it's two separate pieces right so they're together like this but if you take them and flip the one over you'll actually see that they're an exact mirror image of each other so really, you're actually trying to put that rivet through those two mazes. But the only problem is that they're flipped like this. And so it looks really difficult. But when you realize that they're both the same, and not only that, not only they're the same, but they have features, let me just line up again here. They have features here that are clear distractions from what actually is the, the, the solution, right? Like there's these cutouts here these uh, four cutouts on the edge that really go nowhere and make this look harder. So those those make it look more difficult than it is. And not only that, when you flip the two, it makes it look even more difficult. But when you really think about it and the, and the fact that those two are separate pieces, but the, the exact same path, what you end up doing, I'll put this back together and show you now what, uh, what you actually end up doing when you solve the puzzle, but it, it really, you're doing one side of the maze and then you flip it over and do a second side of the maze because when you look at it, there's actually one, two, three layers, three, four, I guess, including that in inner one, but there's one, two, three, four concentric kind of circles that, that run around this. And actually you run one side of the maze through the circle and then you just run the other side of the maze through the circle. And it, it actually ends up being quite simple when you break it down like that. But uh, let me just get the puzzle here together and we'll, uh, we'll go through it individually kind of step by step here. So really the puzzle's difficulty rating is actually really some, just more deception than anything because it looks a lot harder than it seems. So here, let's, let's separate this out and we'll take this top layer here and we'll just literally, thinking about those one, two, three, four kind of concentric circles that run around and you'll just literally run the puzzle through this side of the maze and try to get it over to this uh, circle here. And these, like I said before, these cutouts in the end are just to, to distract you, but this circle cutout and there's another one on the other side obviously because of the mirror image you just got to get it over to, to that circle and it's really not too bad. And it seems like I've actually already got this to a place there. Bring it back here. 
and then you're going to run run it through the maze and the only difficulty is getting it to the place where uh, I guess you can move up and down that's where it is I've got to move it over this way and get up there and now literally I'm just running it through that top maze channel here and you're gonna take it all the way over to the circular part here at the end. So now see I'm in that circle and it, it should go out now once once you get the other side to that circle. So literally you're gonna flip it over and what you might have to do is get it back a little bit because you do have to run through different those concentric circles again but now I'm gonna literally try to run it on this maze to that circle side over there and so I'm running it through and again you kind of have to jump back and forth on the other side just to, to be able to get to those different levels of uh, of the, the puzzle those concentric circles and there it is to the end and again not a hard puzzle uh, once you break it down like that. So now to get it back, I'm just going to run it through that same maze on this side and take it back to the starting position, which is far over here and in pretty much as far the other direction from the end point that you can get. So really it's, there's no in between, there's no middle place you have to get it to. It's literally just running it from start to finish one end to the other. And, uh, there it is right back to that starting. It's not quite in that starting position, but I'll get it there once I do. So flip it over here and then literally I'm going to run, run it through this other side here. And trying to get it back to that starting position again. And there it is. And then when you have it back partially, partially to the other side, uh, to the starting position, you can get it into the two inner circles there and back to that starting position. And that is the Saunders puzzle from Robrecht. The Saunders puzzle is available at puzzlemaster.ca. That wraps up today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the Puzzle Master YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a very puzzling week.